hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to be talking about dynamic urls in django so this is just a test project i opened um, this is the home page which just says welcome here but let me show you the difference between a dynamic url and a normal url so um, this is the, a normal url for the home page but a dynamic url now is going to be something like this let's say we press slash and let's say we type anything now you see it says the value in this URL is this. Now this is what a dynamic URL is. It's basically the same page but um, different outputs depending on the value passed in the URL. Now as you can see slash um, this value we put in the URL, it will say something like slash code with Tommy. It's gonna it's still the same page that is loading, but now it says the value in this URL is code with Tommy. We can also do another thing and do something like Google slash google now it says the value in this url is google now this can be very very useful when building complex project with django so let me show you some examples on some popular sites now as you can see in um twitter uh, it says twitter.com slash tomitoko3 now this is basically the same page the same profile page that shows for every user on twitter but the only difference is the value which is being passed in the url now if this is another username it's not going to show this because the value of Tommy Togo 3 is being passed in this URL. That's why it shows all the details of my profile. But if we go to someone else's profile, like let's say Dennis IV11. Now this is his username. Because of this is username, same profile page, but different values, different outputs that is being passed. So let me show you how to do this in your basic Django project. Now this is our Django project. In our urls.py file, as you can see, we have only one URL, which is the home page. Now we're going to specify another URL for the dynamic URL page. So we're going to do something like path, open bracket. Then in this column, we're going to put a less than, then we can say a string, column, pk, and this. I'm going to explain this and let's say you should go to the views dot um, show let me name it show and the name equals to show now what this is is uh, this is basically something like slash whatever the values as you know in Django normally when you want to create another URL you can do something like slash let's say slash profile or slash posts something like that but since it's dynamic this is what is going to be passed. str represents a string. This simply means that what is going to be passed here is a string. And this pk is the name of the variable. This pk, you can change it to anything. You can say um, post or anything you know. I just like using pk. So we can remove this slash. Now this is what it does. Now let's come to the views.py and then create that function show. So I'm going to create a new function and name it show. It's going to take a request. And then after taking a request, the difference between this and a normal function is that it's going to take that variable. Now, note that whatever you type here as a variable name is what must be passed in the function. So now we're going to return render requests. Now I have um, a an HTML file which I created called show.html. Now what this does is just it says um, the value in this URL is and then it's going to say the value. So I'm going to show you how to change this value to whatever is being passed in the URL. So we'll come back to our views.py file. I will say that show.html. So for us to do this, we're just going to take this variable. We'll say pk is equals to pk. And then we're going to pass it into the HTML as easy as that. So I'm going to do something like this. Let's say PK. We can also name this anything we want. Just making that clear. So now we've passed this variable into the show.html. Now when we save this and we come to the show, this value we can just change it to that PK. Now once we change this value to PK, everything is done. It's as easy as that. Let's save it and go check. Now, let me go to my home. This is my home. 
now if i press something like slash let me just type a random something and you can see it says the value in this url is what is being passed in this url so let me pass something else like youtube it says the value in the url is youtube now this is just a basic way of implementing this uh this feature you can use this feature to let's say filter um, some values in the database like like when you pass let's say you are building a social network or something like that when you pass let's say the person's username the person's username can be tom now once you click on enter you can use this tom username to get some values in the database corresponding to this user so um that's just how to basically use um, a dynamic url in Django. i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe